Hi everybody, it's Maria, and I wanted to come to you with a quick video to share this um, junk journal I did. You know, I'm not sure if they're a junk journal, if there's not junk in them, but <laughs> it's a journal anyhow. Um, there's a great gal that I swap pocket letters with, and we haven't been able to swap a pocket letter recently, but she um, sent me this great rack, and I've never been racked before, and I just thought it was the sweetest thing in the world, so I wanted to give her something a little bit, uh, I don't know, I just wanted to give her something special. So I made her this junk journal, and um, so here it is, and I'm just gonna do a quick a quick run through of it. So this is the outside, and this is the binding. I did something kind of funky, but I liked it. So I did a few different colors of ribbon, and I just tied it in a bow, and so then you untie it, and then I just fed it through the sides of the other part of the ribbon here, and then it just wrapped around like that. So it's an envelope. That's the ribbon is uh, the outside is an, an envelope, and it started out as one of those larger envelopes, and I cut it down a little bit. I did some mixed media on the front with some stencils, some die cuts, some sprays, some uh, glitter paint, some pen, lots of goodies. Um, these are all die cuts here, and then on the side, I did my first ever. Um, sewing it right into the journal instead of easy binding, or sorry, right into the cover. And then I did some beads here. Some of them are um, regular beads and some of them are paper beads that I made. Okay, and that's the back. Just some more paint and stuff, a die cut. Okay, and there's various paper lines here. There's me and my big ideas. There's die cuts with a view. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any more, I'm not sure. So I'll just do a quick flip, um, some rubber stamping. There's also rubber stamping on all the pages that are either the grid or the plane. And it might be hard to see, but it's a very light iridescent gold that I took the stamp that just has a whole bunch of uh, random tiny, tiny dots on it just to give it some texture. There's a tuck spot with a couple tags. Some stamping under there. And I wanted her to be able to just really write in it or put pictures in it, whatever she wanted. There's an envelope with a couple tags in there. Just small ones. And I put tabs on them, a lot of it. There's just a, I forgot what those are called right now because I'm having a brain cramp. And this, my beads are holding that up, a tag I made. And I, ba I bound, uh, not bound, but I glued all my uh, big tags onto the back of a uh, manila folder, file folder, to get more oomph. Some painting on there and pen and stuff. Love this, uh, what, fiber. <laughs> and some enamel dots. Stamping, and I went around a lot of stamping with um, a glitter pen. I cut some of the words out from one of the papers and just went over it with Mod Podge. Another envelope. It's got a lot of pages in it. I think it has 45 pages in it. But, you know, back and front that would make 90. Another one of these cutouts. cut out. This, these are good because you can glue pictures to them or uh, memorabilia or whatever else you like. More stamping on there. Stamping there. That's Tim Holtz. I love that. Tim Holtz has a lot of great sets. A tuck spot and uh, more tags. And on this one I just uh, took a circle punch and circle punched out of the paper and put a bobble on top. Another die cut there that I put some glitter paint over. That's the paper that I cut those uh, sayings and stuff out of. And I picked this theme because she loves the beach. She's an outdoors gal. That's one. So that's why I picked this particular paper. Love that one. 
Tim Morton Holt Stampage. Their envelope, and their um, tag. More of those fibers, and it says Live, Hope, Explore. And um, some more die cuts down here. Love seahorses, they're so cute. And then here's the back. There's some stamping on there, I don't know if you can see that. And a die cut. And so, uh, this is a library pocket that I had, and I just put some mixed media uh, painting on there and stuff. And then here's a big tag I made, and that's a stencil, and I just did that in some uh, black ink. And a little stamping, and some fibers. Did both sides of that tag, and then just went with some Tim Holtz uh, black soot distress ink around the edge of that one. And then, uh, let's see, in the pocket, I didn't put anything um, special in the pocket. What I did put is a whole bunch of the extra die cuts and stuff that I made because the the die cuts that I used were from a um, metal rule die, and so uh, you cut a whole bunch at once on a piece of paper. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to use these probably very often. So why not give them to her? And if she wants to use them in the journal or something else. She can use them and these kinds of things would be good for pocket letters and stuff so there's things like seahorses and tags and circles and shells and tags and more shells and there's more in there so that is my journal thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful weekend take care and i'll talk to you later Bye bye